Drew Peterson won a round in court to force investigators to return more than a dozen guns and other property confiscated by police in a raid on his home for evidence in the disappearance of his wife, Stacy. Will County prosecutors say not so fast? Here's CBS News, Katie McCall. Drew Peterson scored a huge legal victory in court when a Will County judge ordered investigators to return his guns, computers, and car within 30 days. They seized the property in November while investigating the still unsolved disappearance of his wife, Stacy. Peterson's attorney, Joel Brodsky, tells CBS2 Peterson is very pleased, but he is not happy about a letter sent by state's attorney, James Glasgow, to the state police yesterday. It asked the director to revoke Peterson's FOID card. Without it, he cannot have the weapons. Although Peterson is a suspect in his wife's disappearance, CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller says there is no legal basis to revoke the card since Peterson is not a convicted felon and has no history of mental illness. They could do whatever they want to do, but the director of the Illinois State Police has to justify it. But Miller says the state police will probably revoke the card anyway and are likely to cite several examples of unusual behavior by Peterson, much of it captured by TV news cameras. What you've seen is bizarre behavior. Everybody's seen bizarre behavior. The Illinois State Police are handling the investigation into Stacy Peterson's disappearance, and Miller believes the battle over the guns shows the Will County State's attorney is still a long way from the evidence he would need to charge Drew Peterson. He's just hoping that down the road something will come up where he will be able to lodge a charge against Drew Peterson, and he doesn't want to turn these guns over until that happens. Peterson goes back to court in three weeks, and he must not agree to challenge any photos of his property if those are used in any future criminal case against him. Katie McCall, CBS 2 News.